All right, we are back on the boat in the shed. It's Saturday morning and we're gonna do some boat projects today. The main thing I wanna get done is install the, I don't even know what it's called. It's like the steering column rails where the chart plotter is gonna go since I have Dana with me today. Yes, it's the weekend and this is exactly how we like to spend our weekend. Just hanging at the boat. Today is Saturday, so we'll have a big boat day. So Dana hasn't seen any of this new varnish or the white cabinet. Wow, Lou, it's literally so good. I can't believe how well it matches. Right? Yeah, it really is starting to look like it was just like actually here. And that was our biggest like fear when remodeling the interior is that it would just like look really hodgepodge. But luckily we were able to find mahogany, which is what like the boat interior is made out of. And the previous owner showed us what stain to use. So thank you if you're watching. Um, and I feel like it really looks so seamless, Lou. Here, come look at this. Whoa, you painted the whole inside? Uh-huh. Wow, that is so nice. Right, clean. Yes. Can I touch? Yeah, it's dry, right? Wow. Oh, I really like that. It's just two coats of primer and then I'm gonna put two more coats over it. Is it gonna be like the shiny paint? Yeah, it'll be exactly like this color here. Like oh, the nice, the eggshell. Eggshell. But I feel like the My fridge- My gosh, wow, and the cabinet looks so good now. And like this just blends in so well to the wall now. And yeah. That, it doesn't even have varnish on it yet. That's just one coat of stain and one coat of wood sealer. I just then, can't believe our life is gonna be so much better with the fridge. Like, okay. I just I am picturing such amazing meals on the boat and like just the quality of our life being so much higher. It's really amazing. It's coming together. It really is. It feels so much more real. And we even we took the table home the other day so we can like it had gotten some scratches in it from all of the construction and stuff like that. So we can like reset up the table. And it's just gonna be so nice and the new cushions coming in. I feel like Penelope has like a completely like different feeling like already. And the warm weather, it's just like, it's all happening. I'm really excited. It feels so good to be here. I've been just inside sewing for the last week straight. So it's always nice to come back to the boat and be like, remember that this is my home <laughs> too, yeah. you know? Hi, I'm Dana and that's my husband, Lou. For the past five years, we've been on a mission to live creatively. It all started when we quit our jobs in New York, moved abroad, bought a rusty old van named Odie, fixed him up in the mountains in Spain, drove through most of Europe, wrote a book, sold the van, and bought a sailboat. Our next goal is to circumnavigate the earth in our 1976 Rasmus 35. But first, we need to prepare Penelope for the voyage of a lifetime. So welcome to the Winter Build Series. Here we go. There we go. We're gonna install that guy today. So Amazing. there's just six bolts that go through and we're gonna do the wire run for the chart plotter. Oh. Through the rails, through the floor and into this locker. That's why this project is gonna take all day. He was like, oh, I think this will take all day. In my head I was like, just screwing something in. Like how long is it gonna take? But whatever, if less work, that sounds awesome. The wire run, that's what will take all day. So this is where it used to mount down and this is like all old, I think like 5200 or something. So we're just gonna clean it with some acetone and get it nice and smooth before we remount the new rails. things came off right away. That was so much easier. So much easier than I thought. They came off in like a few minutes. So now what's next? Now we do the wire run through the metal pipes. Okay, so drill a hole in a metal pipe. Uh-huh. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. 
早いね。<笑>
We got it. Hey, there we go. It looks like chaos in here, but it's actually... That was madness, <laughs> but I feel like this is really sturdy. And that's the important thing. Now let's just hope that we can wire this baby and have it work. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty proud of us. Right? It felt like it, our summer days on the work, like on the boat working like that, like so frantic. Like I forgot what it's like to have like the fast care 4200 of like, ah! They but, didn't have slow cure. No, I they mean also do. slow cure is like it doesn't. It's like very similar, I think. Yeah. But that was really good. I'm happy that we were both in it because there are so many jobs and it's such tight little spaces. Trying to like tighten the nuts like on there, in like you can't see, so you're just like putting a wrench underneath, hoping that you can get on the nut. Then also screw it down, and everything is just covered in that 4200 stuff. But we did it, and I feel like it turned out really nice and. Luckily, we learned about acetone last year, and that helps so much. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> yes, this stuff, lifesaver. Shall we decide what to do now? I feel like it's getting late. Yeah. But I also really want to wire it to make sure that I plugged those things in correctly. I don't think wiring is happening. What time is it right now? It is seven o'clock. Okay. A boy can dream, you know? <laughs> Down the hatch with you. All right, what are we working with? Oh man. So we're looking for a Namiya 2000 connector, which I think is that thing up there. Uh, I don't know if this is happening tonight, Dana. Definitely not. <laughs> no? No way. I think it's something to do with up there, but this Garmin came with zero instructions. I think if you want to varnish, let's just do that and then call it. All right. That means we're going into this room here. We're going to do one coat on everything. Are you going to paint? Yeah, I think just varnish tonight. This another time, but we got a lot to cover. All of this. It's nice. It's nice to get like one coat on when we come all the way here because lately Lou's been driving. Like it's like a total of like over an hour in the car to just come do a coat of varnish. And so since we're already here and made the trip, we might as well get a coat on now and then we can call it and head home. There we go. Another coat of wood sealer on our beautiful mahogany. It looks really good and so shiny. Right? Yeah, I really like it. I'm impressed. Should we head home? A hundred percent. I'm tired. a big day, right? Yeah, for real. I'm really proud of us. It was enough. Like, it's just so nice that the days are longer. I mean, granted, we're in the shed, so you just turn the lights on, but it definitely feels like easier to motivate now that the sun is here so much longer and like, yeah, it makes me feel way more motivated to get stuff done. It's nice. I feel like the like mahogany is starting to look like the rest of the boat. It really is. You know? It's like... If anything, I mean, it's like going to look fresher. Yeah. You know? Because it's like compared to the, like this stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many, how shiny we want to get this. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I, I mean? I have a satin varnish, so hopefully not too shiny. Okay, good. I feel like you want to like have it all blend in. I mean, I guess the cabinet you did was satin varnish, mm -hmm. and that looks really good and like very similar. So yeah, this is the satin varnish, six coats total. That was six. Yeah. What's on this? Right now we are at two. <laughs> the three for that stuff. So that stuff is all done. And then I think we're going to sand this and switch to varnish now. It's wood sealed enough. Oh, this wasn't even varnish? Nope. Oh. Just the wood sealer. Good morning. We are actually gonna go back to the boat this morning. That wasn't our plan when we left yesterday because we stayed so late. We were like, definitely no boat. But at the same time, it's just so nice to get the coats of varnish onto everything. And Lou wants to paint the inside of the cabinet. We have a Patreon party, like a Zoom call at 11. So we just decided we're just gonna go to the boat in the morning and then we have a really fun Zoom call and then we actually have a chess tournament with our patrons. This is like, we've never done a, like a live tournament or anything. Lou and I have just playing a lot of chess lately with each other. But one of the patrons suggested it and I was like, you know what, why not? So we're gonna try it out. Hopefully we can figure out how to make it work. Um, and we're gonna be playing a lot of chess this afternoon. And it's gonna be a really nice house day. We're just gonna do a quick little boat, boat trip before that. And then tacos this evening. Last night we also, we really did it up actually. We made beans last night at 10 o'clock at night in the pressure cooker. And they're gonna be delicious because you know, a good refried bean is like what makes tacos yummy. <laughs> Are you making tea? I'm making us tea. So we're gonna make some tea get in the car, I need to get dressed. I'm in my PJs, so I'll see you in a second. We're home. Back on the boat. So we gotta do this pretty fast. Okay. So we have an hour and a half. All right. We got some 220. There you go. Sweet. How much am I trying to sand off? Only a tiny bit. Don't take it back to like the wood again. Okay, cool. So just to make it smooth.
So we just wrapped up varnishing and it looks so good and we actually finished way faster than we thought. So Lou is going to paint the inside of the kitchen cabinet as well. And so for that, he's going into the messy section. Be careful because there's a wet varnish over there. Is there? <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. I think I should be wearing one of those things at all times. <laughs> Thank, you. Oh, thank you. And I need a new brush from the bag outside too. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Great job, babe. It's looking pretty good, I think. Yeah, it looks so nice. Very clean. Right? And the eggshell actually matches this really well. Does it? Yeah. Is that a wrap? That's a wrap. You did it! Done. Wow, perfect timing too. Yeah? Yeah. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit toxic, I have to say. Right. Yeah, stinky stuff. So it is 10 o'clock. We have our Zoom at 11 o'clock. So it is time to hit the road. We'll put some more tea on. Oh, sweet. Let's change out of these clothes too. They're all covered in snow sawdust. Wow. We're fancy people now, Dana. I know, I'm very impressed with this setup. I just give everybody the Zoom link for today. I haven't made a smoothie bowl this pretty in a long time. <laughs> yeah, this is like old style food. I know, it like brings me back to Berlin, but. You know, if we're gonna show it on camera, it should be pretty. I don't know why, I should, usually I, we still have smoothie bowls a lot, but we just like make it chaos, and now I'm gonna start making it pretty again. I forgot. You know, you eat with your eyes. <laughs> Our your sweater is... Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> see you. All right, chess tournament time. Okay. That was adorable. Our smoothie bowl melted. I oh, know, now it's just a smoothie. Should we put it in a cup? I honestly, the Zoom calls are my favorite, one of my favorite things that we do. They make me so happy, and everybody's so nice, and it's really fun to chat, and it's like crazy. Some people are living all over the world. Some are in, like living in a boat. Some people are like working on their van. And I mean, the creativity on these calls is just amazing. People are sewing their own clothes and knitting things and it just makes me really happy. So now we're gonna do a chess tournament. Right? Now we have a chess tournament, which I need to figure out how to do because I'm the host and organizer, but I've never done anything. We're just using chess.com, not sponsored, just, you know. That's the easiest way to do it. And Austin, one of our patrons, is helping me organize it, so fingers crossed he knows what he's doing because, yeah, you need to make your own account now. I'll go do that. All right, I submitted my request to join the Wild We Roam Chess Club. Can you approve me? Yeah. Thank you. The chess tournament is beginning. It is. I feel like it's just confusing trying to understand all these different platforms, and I think that there was more than four of us who wanted to join this <laughs> tournament, but the issue is it's like you have to join our club, and then you also have to click, like, that you want to play, so yeah. it's like, I need to, I wonder what should I do? Or we'll just start a Zoom call. We're trying to set up the chess tournament. It's 
going. I can't open up my cursor, which is my downfall. I can't yeah, find the right tournament. Here. So only Austin is in this tournament right now. Oh, I need to go join it. Join the tournament. So Dana is currently trying to figure out how to set up this chess tournament. We like had it going for a second. Austin beat me like right away. But that one doesn't count because the whole tournament wasn't really set up. The chess tournament is going to begin in five minutes. There's only five of us on this chess tournament, so it's gonna be pretty hilarious. I feel like we should keep zooming a little bit to make sure that everybody gets sorted on this. And Elizabeth, I don't think you have to share your screen anymore. Okay. You can, yeah. But this is awesome. Okay, we're going I for mean, Yeah, I mean, you have the superior hand here. Okay. Somehow I got Omar's queen early, but other than that, yeah, yeah, that, that's a, that was just... This is Dana's chess strategy. She tricks her opponent into helping her. <laughs> that's what I do with blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, that right? That was my best move yet! <laughs> right, Omar? It's working. I am playing blue right now, where we normally play on a real table. Now we're playing... Computer to computer. Oops, I made a big mistake just now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I need to see what you did. Oh my gosh, you did that? We've got my queen right next to your king. What are you gonna do? I'm officially resigning to Lou. The game took a turn as it always does. And now I just, how do you guys, do you guys know how to resign? Yeah, it's uh, like right in the middle of the screen, right of the board. To the right of the board. Congratulations, Lou. I just lost 218 points on my rapid rating. Wow. It's just telling me I need to start a course. <laughs> no, thank you. This is really fun. And yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging with us. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks for having us. Catch you later. Well, I'll see you. Bye, bye. See ya. Have a good day. Bye. 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 So, tournament over. And number one? Who's number one? You. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. all luck honestly i came in second which is hilarious to me yeah it really was because we distracted the boys yeah they're used to just playing on the computer and not having like people chatting and then when i'd be like oh what should i do here then they're both getting distracted and then they're helping yeah because when i played austin the first time and no one was chatting he won in like three minutes really yeah so it's like yeah that was actually so so fun wow right my brain is like gonna explode we also or have not eaten You know what this is? What? A rare occasion where we eat with a fork and a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner time! Woo. So excited for that.